Welcome to the Roost. Today I'm going to show you um, a technique to use with the glossy paper that uses a straw and some re-inkers. Um, it's kind of a technique that I remember using from uh, grade school, I believe, maybe high school. But there's a couple different ways you can um, showcase your piece once you've got it ready. I'm going to show you um, using a 2x2 two two square and then the painter's palette stamp set to make the painter's palette and the background. So you're going to simply stamp the painter's palette and then put your finished piece on some dimensionals to pop it up. Now if you don't have that stamp set or if you like something a little bigger, you can also just do a 3x3 a three three piece and then mat it with a, a three and a quarter by three and a quarter piece. And I've added this fun little um, tabs for you um, tab at the top, you know, to make it look like a clip. So it's a couple different ideas on how to use your, your artwork piece that you're going to make here. Now, you can do, you know, any colors that you want. And I'd suggest, you know, choose your favorites and then uh, combine them together. So I've got a, a couple different ones that I've used here, you can see. I'll try to pick something else for this one so that you can see some different colors. Um, this one actually has four colors in it. It was Rich Razzleberry, Pool Party, Real Red, and Daffodil Delight, I believe. And then this one had the Pool Party, Daffodil Delight, and Real Red. And for this one, I actually went with some darker colors. It was Night of Navy, Crushed Curry, and cherry cobbler. So, so you can see you have a lot of different options on colors, um, only limited by your imagination. So we'll go ahead and choose some different colors for this one. Let's choose pumpkin pie and maybe daffodil delight for this one. So when you, um, when you start this, like I said, you're going to need a straw. You're just going to do one color at a time. If you if you leave a drop onto your paper, you'll get more ink, or you can just put the tip onto the paper which um, and kind of control it a little bit more so you have less ink. And I'm going to put three dots of yellow on here. I kind of did three dots. With the smaller paper, um, you might want, only want to do um, one dot of the darker colors. Then you're just going to take your straw and blow. And I kind of go solid at first and then as you blow harder it will spread out more. And you can you can keep it on the paper by just twirling it around. And then I tried to blow until you could see that all of the color was spread. Now I'm sure if you wanted to, you could take a, a, a paper towel or something and dab some off if you were happy with the way it looked but yet had pools of uh, color yet. Okay, I think we're about done there. So now I'm going to take the um, pumpkin pie. And I'm just going to do two of the pumpkin pie, just to, just to change it up a little. It's kind of fun to see how, the, um, how they spread. Each, each one is going to be different and unique. Now if you're a real precise stamper, you probably won't like this technique because it's very random.
and you'll see some of the colors will run together a little bit. Now we're going to finish it off with the um, the real red. Oh, I was going to do green, wasn't I? Well, it's going to be red now. So then once you have um, have that the way you want it, you're just going to have to set it off to the side. Now I actually like to set it off to the side for an hour or two because if you've got some thicker spots it, it definitely is going to um, take a little while to, uh, to dry. And then you're just going to take your stamped image. Now this one I kind of mucked up a little bit but um, just to show you. And you're going to put dimensionals on there and just set it off. And that's, it's, it's going to make kind of a, a unique centerpiece. And then I like to use on the inside, uh, to go with the painter's palette, there's a stamp for the inside that says, oh gosh, here it is. Um, your idea to have a birthday was simply a stroke of genius. Because I think the stroke of genius stamp kind of goes with the unique um, artwork aspect of this technique. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to try this technique, it's just a few um, a few simple supplies. You're just going to need the glossy cardstock and some of the re-inkers and a simple table straw. So hop on over to my website and go ahead and pick up some re-inkers and some glossy paper so that you can start having fun with this technique. Thanks for stopping by at the Roost and I hope to see you again.